Hey friends, so in our last video we have discussed the capabilities of Google Business Profile Growth Manager tool and you all know now about the tool, uh, the versions, it has a free version, it has premium version and different different features and facilities. In today's video we will start learning from the scratch how to create an account in this particular tool and if you don't have a business profile that is a Google business profile or you can say Google my business or Google maps listing then how you can create a fresh new listing using this tool as well if you have a Google business profile how can you add that Google business profile in this tool so that you can manage and you can utilize all the features and capabilities which the tool possesses so guys in this video we will discuss both these things as well I will show you a mobile version of this particular tool as you all know we have a, a android app for this tool currently soon we will plan to uh, release an ios app but not currently because we have a web version we have a pwa file which you can generate and you can install in your i phone as well in your Apple devices in your Mac devices in your any device with any operating system which has a Windows kind of interface and a browser in that you can install this application even Windows also you can install this application so that you don't need to uh, go to a URL or remember a URL to use and access this app so let's begin so guys as you all know this is our website local SEO tools and tips through which you can start accessing this application if you are doing it from a browser if you are uh, planning to do it through an app then you can go to Google Play Store and search for Google My Business or Google Business Profile Growth Manager uh, so you'll find our tool as you can see uh, the, our tool is there on Google uh, Play Store so guys uh, about the features and pricing we have already discussed now when you want to start using this application you have to click on login on this particular uh, website's login page or you can directly move on to tools.localseotoolsandtips.com this is the actual uh, root domain where this application exists but local SEO tools and tips will be a website where you will find lot of tips on local SEO how you can scale up your local SEO you can scale up your Google business listing and search engine listing of your local business on different different search engines so guys here you have to click on this login button and here it will ask you to login via google uh, login basically it doesn't ask you to create an account uh, put some password email user id it's very easy you can just authenticate through your google login you don't need to remember any password any id nothing of the sort so you can just sign in with your google id or if you already signed it with some google id through which you want to log in you can just select as i am doing so guys i have logged in with a fresh gmail account through which no profile has been created previously on this particular application i'll click on manage and as you click on manage you will find this screen this will be a screen which will be there one time only when you are registering through a gmail id so here guys you have to input your country my country is india i'll select it and then you have to sign in with the actual gmail id through which you have already created a google business listing or you intend to create a new google business listing also why we have kept these two different different authentication the reason is guys simple because you will be creating an account through your gmail that is for your login after that you might be having different different google business profiles if you are an agency and you have to add all those accounts in this particular uh, application for that you need to sign in to that particular authorization and also guys even if you don't have an agency you are an individual or you are a business or you are a freelancer doing it for your own purpose still it's possible that you want to create a login through your regular email id but you want to create a google business listing through another email id which you have meant for that particular business so th both these email ids can be different that's why we have created two different auths so guys simple I again log in with some gmail id through which i want to create a fresh new google account this is an email id where there is no existing google business profile created so that i can show you how it looks like 
so guys i have already logged in when you are creating a fresh new listing with a gmail id where there is no listing existing currently then you will get this kind of screen where it will ask you to type your business name say i keep it my business and if such kind of business already exists it will show you that particular list in the drop down you can select from that if might be you have created it some time back and you don't remember that you have created it or might be someone else created your business name listing you can also claim that it will be in a similar way like you are creating a new account but you will get the benefit of that particular listing being old so here i didn't found any listing so i can click on this particular drop down create the business listing in name or you can click on add your business to google so i'll click on this below option now i'll just input a business name like i submitted my business you have to add some description something about your business be ready with that even you can edit it afterwards so currently you can uh, type anything in short you have to input your phone number that is your mobile number pin code is essential category is very essential and you have to select the category you cannot enter your own category so you have to select from the list which you can sort by just typing right so this was all i have input everything everything was compulsory now the main thing is this particular map location pointer you have to just adjust it because it will automatically adjust itself according to your postal code still it's ne not necessary that it will mark to the exact location so what you have to do you can just move it here and there you can just zoom in zoom out through your mouse uh, or you can do it through this plus minus symbol also and you can just reach out to your actual location to, according to your coordinates which i believe you can do it very easily you have to reach out to the actual thing like this building options you can see you have to just mark it to that particular building in which your location exists physically so when once you do this then you will click on create guys uh, remember this you can always edit afterwards but try to keep it correct from the initial beginning like this location is created you can see just i clicked on create location and this location is that now it showing verification required so guys it simple verification can be through different different means it depends on your profile your location what google provides no one can actually select it so let's see what it's providing currently when i click on get verified it's showing you call you can verify it via call they will call on this particular number and share some code or approve it via call when the call is connected they'll verify a few credentials with you or uh, you can get a text on this particular message through this number and you have to input that particular code and it will be verified mostly number and message option doesn't appear a postal card option appears where you are sent a postal card means within 7 to 12 working days to your nearest post office that is according to your postal code that you have input once you receive that code you have to input on this get verified button you will get an option to input the code and your profile will be active and verified so these are good options if you get such options then it will be verified immediately so i am not going to verify it because i just created it for uh, telling you how to create this uh, later on i am going to delete this particular profile because i don't want to put any garbage data on google so guys this way this profile is created you can delete it profile from this particular application or you can disable it as well here you get few notifications about which we'll be discussing later on in our tutorials now when you create a profile you can click on this particular profile and when you click on this profile you reach inside uh, this particular profile's interface so once you click on this profile you can see this profile is created it's showing its health score because this is a new profile so the health score is just uh, uh, very low because we have just input few basic information as you start adding more information your health score will increase you can add more information through this info section you can go there and set up all complete address you can even change things but guys you cannot change the address or postal code because you have verified it or you have applied for verification till you don't do that you can change it 
so you can add service area website about uh, this the opening date shop code so all these things you can do if you want to close this business listing you can close it from here so it's very easy interface you can actually work on this very easily so guys this was how you can create a fresh new google business profile or google my business listing or google maps listing using google business profile growth manager tool and it was super super easy so guys now we'll see how you can actually add an existing google business profile to this particular tool you don't need to create it you already have it but you want to add it through this tool in this tool so that you can utilize its different different features like scheduling like citation manager and so many other things like automated review reply and so many other facilities which we are providing which we have discussed in our earlier video so for that i'll sign out and i'll log in with some other email id through which i already have a profile which is up and running which is verified right so i have logged out and i'll now log in with another email id so again guys few things will be repeated when you create a fresh new account in this tool you will have to input country and then you have to uh, input uh, that sign in again with that particular email id where you have that google business listing for me i don't need to do that because i have already created an account uh, and shown you uh, in this video uh, so now when i click here i'll just find this particular thing and here a account is being displayed which is already there i'll just remove this account and now we don't have any account now you have to add a new uh, uh, you have to add an existing account you will just go to add more locations or otherwise if you are creating it new on sign in that account will automatically be displaying to you so guys here i have to again do an authorization from this particular uh, email id where that particular account which we have already created exists so i click on this particular email id and i'll be able to see whatever google business profiles exist through this email id so now you can see these are the two business profiles which are existing through this particular email id and i can add these i have added these in fact so now you can see i have added this particular existing business location it's not created now as it's verified it's showing verified it has a health score it's completely verified as you can see or uh, even you will be able to see few reviews on this no reviews are not there but you will be able to see this verify box this badge verified status so that it confirms this is a verified id which i have added here now you can actually start managing your existing business profile which we will be learning in our later videos so guys now let me take you through a mobile application of this particular application as i have told you i have i'll show you a mobile version of this particular application so that you are comfortable using this so when you install this application in your mobile device you will find this kind of logo it says gbp gm google business profile growth manager so this is the application which you have to install from google play store when you click on this this shows a splash screen from infotox like this because it's our product by infotox and then this screen lands up which is exclusively for mobile device when you click on manage again you have to select an email id either you can create new or you can add the existing profile through this as i have shown you currently in our video so if you create a new one uh, you will select an email id through which no profile has been created you will give this authorization and you will find this kind of screen which we have already seen which just going to appear yes guys as you already know you have to select your country then again you have to sign in with that email id through which you want to create a google business profile so there are two email ids involved they can be same they can be different as well now i'll again authorize with an email id 
through which you want to create a Google business profile, a fresh new Google business profile. I will show you that screen initially. Then we won't be creating it as we have done it already. You know it about it. Then I will show you how to log in with a created one. So now I have authorized with a fresh new Gmail ID and a screen will appear where you have to again go through that process to find a name and then uh, you'll click on add, add your business to Google. And finally, you have to input all the details and select your location pointer so that you can create this business profile. So I'm not going to do this. I am canceling it. I will not continue with this. Instead, I'll just show you a created business profile. I'll log in with another email ID again and I'll just show you our existing business profile. For that, I need to log in again with some Gmail ID which has an existing Google business profile. Again, all the steps as you already know, authorization steps because uh, we are doing it through Google. We don't need to input any email ID password. When you are doing it for fresh and new account, again you have to select your country. This is for once only and you have to again sign in with a Gmail ID through which you already have a Google business profile. So now you have to authorize and finally you will, you will be able to see that Google business profile which is already existing and the verify status is there as you can see. I'll just click on this to show you a view and just take you through a short tour of mobile app as well because in this tutorial series we won't be doing it through mobile application. It's same. You can very easily handle this app through your mobile device. You don't need to have a laptop or computer to use this particular tool. You can do it very easily through a mobile device. As you can see, this is a screen. As we have already seen, this is a menu below where you can schedule a post through this icon. Then uh, there is an option to schedule a media, uh, media that basically post your photographs on Google. As you can see, the photographs are appearing here. Then there is an option where you can see whatever has been scheduled, whatever post or media you have scheduled. This can this will show you here, views and everything. And guys, again, another is to select business. If you have multiple locations, you can again go to the business selection page. And finally, you will land up to your home page again. So it's showing health score. From this icon, you can get all other menus. As you can see, home info, insight, product service, review, question, users, etc. So that you can access all the options through the mobile device as well with a different kind of menu option, which is actually meant for mobile device. So now I am just opened insights option which we have already seen in our first video. This is an insights which is basically statistics of your Google business profile. So how it look like in your phone, uh, you can see that it's same as you are able to see on your web browser. So guys this way you can switch on to another menu, another option. And this was all about this mobile device tutorial. So guys, in this video, we have learned how to create a new Google business listing through this application. You can add your existing listing and utilize its features, its facilities to grow this, your profile. And we have also seen how this application look, looks like in a mobile device. It's similar. You can do it very easily through your mobile application. Uh, you don't need to have a computer or laptop to handle it it can easily be done through your mobile device i hope this video was useful for you and don't forget to watch other videos which have all other step by step process all the options have been uh, explained in detail because i know you can do it very easily yourself it's very easy still you can miss out something so it's better you watch each and every video because all other videos will be shorter one thanks for watching this video